Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So I just wanted to quickly talk about like the Amy Winehouse movie that's coming out. It's coming out this week and I'm really excited for it. I, I don't know how I'm going to cope because it comes out on the Friday. Ideally, I'd want to go and see it this weekend, but my niece is coming down to visit. So I've said I'll wait and she's not coming down to the end of the month. So hopefully, um, I don't know how I'm going to manage because the minute I saw that the movie was out, I was like, yeah, I've got to go and see. I'd rather go and see it on Friday, you know, in the ideal world. Um, but the other thing to talk about really is what do people think of these movies that are made about other people? So um, I know that the Aaliyah, the movie made about Aaliyah, um, the singer, that apparently wasn't too good. The Whitney movie, I didn't get a chance to see. I think there's been two made about Whitney. I didn't get to see um, that. I saw the documentary one. And the thing is, what I, I prefer personally, the documentaries, because I saw the Amy Winehouse documentary, I went to the cinema to see that. That was fantastic, very powerful. I like the idea of seeing real life scenes um, and real conversations with people and then um, incorporating that into like a movie with clips of them singing and then with like other bits. I think when they try to make movies sometimes of someone's life, I mean, a good example is the Bob Marley movie, which... I've only seen half of it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Um, and people might have different views. My f opinion is I do feel like the Jamaicans, what they were saying about the fact it should have been played by a Jamaican is correct. Um, other people disagree. Other people are saying, well, they couldn't find a Jamaican that could act as well and that sort of thing. My personal view with, um, if you're going to make a movie about someone's life, it should be as authentic as possible. So we've had... If you, a good example would be Malcolm, Dan, Denzel Washington playing Malcolm X. So you had a good actor who was well known. So he was already going to get people watching because it's Denzel Washington. He's American and so was Malcolm X. He had the same, he had, he, 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 he literally, he was Malcolm X. Now that is a classic example. If someone wants to look at a figure that you're going to make a film about, especially if it's a legend, like someone like Bob Marley, for example, even Whitney, I think you have to have someone who can sing like her. The difficulty is finding someone who looks like the person or looks enough similar to them, can sing or can act or has the same like um, personality as the person. Then you've also got to make the film um, fit with their life. It's difficult. It's difficult to do. Um, Muhammad Ali, played by um, Will Smith, that was a good movie. He managed to get it. I mean, he doesn't look anything like Muhammad Ali, but he is a good actor. Will Smith, is, he can take on board. There's been a few. I mean, you guys tell me what you think. I think that Amy Winehouse movie, to be fair, no one can really be Amy Winehouse. I don't think the person, they're not trying to do that. They're trying to make, obviously, the person looks a little bit like her. She can sing a little bit, apparently. Um, she's not going to be able to be Amy Winehouse. Um, my reason for going is to see if the um, movie has enough things, enough details in there. So a combination of Amy Winehouse's genius and just her as a musician versus also with, you know, a troubled life. If they cut out any of them and they just make it, they need to put everything in there so it's real, it feels real. That's what I think. Um, I think with some of the ones that I've, I've not, what else have I seen? Let's see, so you've had the Aaliyah movie, you've had Muhammad Ali, you've had Whitney movie. You've had, obviously, the Bob Marley movie. There's been loads of movies about people's lives. It's always happened. Throughout history, we've had movies... Because people are interested in people's lives. You know, and if someone is a massive celebrity or a massive personality, you, wanna, you want to... You feel like there should be a movie made about their life, and I appreciate that. But I don't think many people can get it right. They just get it wrong for lots of different reasons. The casting is a big thing, and I think that's difficult. Um... <clears throat> getting all the getting enough information in there about someone's life that can be difficult because they also want to do an accurate portrayal and you can't always do that because some of the family members might say well don't put that bit in there or I don't want you to talk about that bit you know when this person was like addicted to drugs or I don't want you to talk about that bit but then that's not authentic for the audience because they're thinking why have you cut that bit out that was part of the person so it'd be interesting to see what they do with the Amy Winehouse movie whether how much do they show of her addiction to drugs and alcohol how much do they show about the abusive you know the relationship she was in you know how much are they going to put in about that you know some of the negative sides to that or are they just going to stick more to the music and the facts of like how popular she was and how young she was when she died i mean i know lots of people of um celebrities have passed but i think michael jackson that was a big one for me where i don't know why i didn't see that coming but i just that was a shock for me um, and 
Amy Winehouse was just, I mean, even when they said like Tupac had died, I think at that point as well, I was like, what? But Amy Winehouse and I think Michael Jackson, they're the ones I can remember. I can remember exactly when I heard, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. And do you know what's weird? Even if someone is addicted to like drugs and even if someone, even someone like comedian like Robin Williams, for example, you know, no one thought he would like end his life and that sort of thing. I don't know if it's just we view certain people in a different way. And like for me, Amy Winehouse, you knew she had problems. You know, you could see her on stage literally and she was high or she was drunk. But I don't know. I don't know still why that was shocking. It just was. I don't know if it was her age. I don't know if it was I didn't see it coming. So, yeah. And, and I've been to see the documentary, as I've said. I think it was brilliant. Really well done. So let's see. Is anyone else going to see the movie? There's also a big statue. Um, it's got Amy Winehouse, I think it's got. And you can get, it's in London, apparently at King's Cross Station from 11 till 7 on the day the film's released. You can get signed um, copies of certain things. You can. I think there's all sorts going on. I wish I was in London because I saw that on Facebook and I thought, wow, what a good idea. If I was in London, I think that is something I would go, go and see because you can get certain things. I think you can get um, discount on tickets as well for the movie. Um, yeah, so it's a shame. I live in Birmingham, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But if you are going to watch the movie or if you've watched it and then you want to leave your reviews of it, let me know. Also, let me know what you think altogether about these um, movies that are made about celebrities anyway. Is it a good idea, bad idea? Does it work? Does it not work? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.